Alright, so some people are not very happy with my 3D printer setup for my hobby room tour. And I hear you in the comments, and you were right. My ventilation setup wasn't ideal. To be fair, I had just moved house, and honestly, I didn't have the time or funds to set up something better. But I do now. So, today I'm upgrading my 3D printer ventilation system and making it safer and more efficient. Before we get into the new setup, let me walk you through what I was doing before. I was using a mask rated for particles and VOCs, making sure no one else was in the room while printing, keeping all windows open, and sealing off the space from the rest of the house. Since my printer is on the top floor, it was at least away from other living areas, but I know this is still not a perfect solution. The mask I use is a proper respirator with the right filters, but even then, relying solely on personal protection isn't enough long term, especially if you print frequently. After researching different options, I've put together a system that works for my space. I'll walk you through each part, but remember, this is just what works for me. Always do your own research based on your printer, materials, and room layout. The first thing I bought was this big grow tent from Amazon and whilst you watched me struggle to set it up I thought if you're new to 3D printing you might be wondering why ventilation is so important. Well most filaments especially ABS, resin and even PLA to some extent release ultra fine particles UFPs and volatile organic compounds VOCs when heated. Breathing those in over time can be harmful so good airflow isn't just a suggestion it's a must. Okay and here is what it looks like all set up. One small feature I appreciated was this velcro to hold the door back when in use. This vent hole in the back is what I'll use for the cables. And this one on top will be where I connect the tube that will go out the window. I found this old set of drawers in my garage and thought it'd be good to prop my printer up on. I removed some of the drawers to make space for my wash and cure station too. And here is a look at my fan. This has been connected with zip ties and metal rods that came with the grow kit. I then connected the tube to the vent hole and secured it tightly. The lights you can see are from an old photo box I had. Next up, I grabbed some elastic and command hooks to secure the tube in the window. There are tons of hook options around, so I just went with the cheapest one as the tubes are very lightweight. I connected the tube in a wide end nozzle that I could trap in the window so all the fumes go straight outside. You can see here how I use the command hooks and elastic to hold the tube in place. I opted for elastic to allow for a bit of movement and give, and the wiggle room will make it easier to move around. And when I want to shut the window and the tube is not in use, I just let it hang down like so. Next I grabbed an extension cord, make sure to get one that has surge protection. I then got everything plugged in and used the spare drawer from the unit to cover it all. I also added in this rubber mat in case there are any resin spills. I then added some gloves and tissues and things that I reach for often. And that's it, it's a big upgrade from before. If you've got your own tips or setups, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear what works for you. And if you found this helpful, a like always helps out the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.